welcome back to set to one and welcome to our first ever youtube video i'm sid i'm joined with lily one of my co-hosts devon another co-host meris another co-host amy our lead content creator and abby our social media manager today we've got we've got quite an interesting video i know i'm excited for this today we're trying rich energy just a little disclaimer, everything spoken about in this video has been found online, therefore it is just speculation. Everything is our own opinion when we are discussing the drink itself, and we have absolutely nothing against William Story nor Rich Energy. We hope you enjoy this video. You have probably heard a lot about this drink, and you know, today we're gonna, we're gonna do you a favour and try it for you so you don't have to. To start off with, we're going to give you a bit of context about Rich Energy. So, who remembers what team they sponsored? Any any takers? Not sure. Sorry. Um, no. <laughs> might have been <laughs> might have been half one uh, yeah one maybe. lifetime ago. It seems now. Yeah, it seems yeah, ages ago. So, when you look into Rich Energy, you cannot find their origins, how they started. No. You can barely even find these in supermarkets. We had to get ours off of Amazon and they are the old design. The one that they actually got taken to court for because it's a, a, a company called White Bikes. This yeah. stag design is theirs. And so they got sued for that, which is always great. Wonder, sorry, just like why you can still buy these. Like if it must be yeah. old went all that effort. Yeah, they're yeah. obviously just trying to get rid of it. Because I mean... I think we paid 2019. What, five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice and fresh. Still in date though. We've got another month in date, you know. Yeah. Always, always good that they're in date. Um, so they're a British energy drink, but you cannot find them in supermarkets, as no. I just said. They no. have links with West Ham Premier League team, which is very, very weird. So I've apparently... never heard of that, and yeah. I'm a West Ham fan. Mm. <laughs> apparently, one of the owners of West Ham bought shares in Rich Energy. No idea. No idea. No, I'm just. I don't know. It's just not. Their finance <laughs> yeah. documents between 26, 2016 and 2017, which was meant to be like when they were on their rise, it shows that they went from £103 in 2016 to £581 in 2017. But they claimed that this was this big profit. But as you can tell from those numbers, the money yeah, was not, not there. Mm-hmm not great yeah, anything yeah anything which energy do i don't think it surprises us anymore no <laughs> so you, the you drink could say might be nice it. yeah the drink could be nice it could taste okay yeah it could surprise us but so is, I, I don't know because red bull and monster are just mm. top tier there's a huge question of legitimacy around rich energy so when they had their hastil they were the lead sponsor they terminated it. Well, apparently, um, Rich Energy, is it William Story? He apparently terminated yeah. the deal. Oh, and what a man. <laughs> he is, he's an icon, let's be honest, at this he point. Said this was due to Haas's performance. But Haas was saying, no, they're still our title, they're still our title sponsor. And they actually posted something saying that Story was a rogue individual doing his own thing. And then when yeah, they did announce just... that they had broken up, Rich Energy. William Story claims that the, the other people that had shares in it stole Rich Energy and changed the name, leaving him out. But, you know, <laughs> he's back with his Rich Energy and he, he's apparently going to be back in Formula One soon, which, which will be We know all of, all of the the, uh, his uh, announcements his announcements he makes yeah. when he, like, sits in his chair and he makes, like, a two-part video that's just two minutes long. He does, like, two one-minute videos and he's like, I-, I can announce it very soon. And then three months later, we sat here and thinking, well, y- you're not a title sponsor, William. You're not. That's but, you know, at- he could be. He might be hiding it, you know. So he could buy into a can, team. Guys. Let's have a look at the can. What are our thoughts on the mm-hmm. on the display we've got going on here? It just reminds me of the Haskell. It's a nice, it's a nice Yeah, goal. I like the black. I'm liking the colours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with you, yeah, Maris. It's, it's cute. A- I like this, like, British flag that they've got going on. Mine's a bit dented, you know, that's the only problem. Yeah, I've got a huge chunk taken out of that. Yeah, my, I've, got, I've got two more in the fridge. Um, if you're going to order them from Amazon, maybe, maybe yeah. opt against it because none of them are intact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> none of them. I think my, my, the box mine, mine came in for, right. My, I'll try and find a picture of my box and I'll show it just because 
it was ridiculous the box like I was gonna write a complaint but like what, what am I gonna get more rich energy like oh thanks yeah. <laughs> it's not really what I want I'll see if I do I, have a picture because mm-mm. I don't know if anybody else is like this but like one half of my um British flag is like missing on the oh, other yeah, side like really yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Properly. that's really odd it's got like two lines one side and one the other yeah yeah they the graphic designers were clearly mm. lacking on that day I mean, it's a basic design, but it's not bad. It's just not the no. most, like, interesting. And then the fact that, obviously, the logo was pretty much stolen from from yeah. another company. But you know what? Put that aside. It, it's a bog-standard energy drink. It, you know, it doesn't need to be anything special. So it's got all the nutrition facts and everything. Yeah. Made in the is interesting. That's the question. Are they accurate? This has all the characteristics for embarrassment. Yeah. Shall we pop a rich energy, guys? <laughs> this is going to be interesting because I I've, I never drink Red Bull or Monster Energy or anything. No, so I have yet, nothing. Guys, just we, we have to do. I have tradition. nothing to compare it to. So well, you guys are going to say it's oh. really funky smelling. Smells it's a bit very, like, like a gone off Jaeger bomb. Oh, yeah. it smells like you know cowpaw. <laughs> it smells like cowpaw. Yes. Oh my god. I'm it's getting a really gone off Jaeger. Like, like, it's just been sat there for weeks. Yeah, like mixed... warm Jaeger. Yeah, it smells a bit like warm Jaeger, obviously. I'm getting like <laughs> not the not the liquid cowpole, but like the the cowpole tablets. Has anybody yeah. ever had those? Yeah, it's, it's not like short like tablets. <laughs> it's not the nicest okay. smelling energy drink, you know. I'll I mm. quite like it. No, Maybe because I, like I was addicted it. to cowpole as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna, Are we ready for the taste talk. test, guys? Mm-hmm. Oh, I jumped the gun, sorry. Elf, elf. <laughs> Cheers. It's watered down Red Bull. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it just tastes like Red Bull. I like it. I, I'm really picky. Oh, so I, I really quite like, like it. Mm. I like it. Not as bad I as quite like it. It's not bad, is it? It's I'm not bad. Fan. Mm. I, yeah. I've never had Red Bull or anything, so I've nothing to compare it to. It but tastes like a sugar-free Red Bull. I, quite I like drink it. the sugar. I drink the sugar-free one, and that's like it tastes basically like the sugar-free Red Bull. Like really, there's it's something like else that just tastes like. It literally I can't, just like, be put my finger on it. It's. I don't know. It's weird. It's quite. I, I did. It's, it's quite nice. Mm, I like the first taste that you didn't get. Expect it. <laughs> Mm. It's really odd that this it's very isn't nice in, um... on the palette. <laughs> it's really odd that this isn't in supermarkets at all. Mm. Not when yeah, really it actually tastes okay. Like, they would sell granite. I don't think any sort of supermarkets would touch William with a five foot yeah. pole. <laughs> <laughs> like the corner, like the corner shops, might you know the ones they True. might want. Yeah, but like this would sell. Do you know, like the twenty nine p energy drinks that like the yeah. premier corner shops yeah. sell? Store, yeah, like <laughs> these would sell. Yeah, these would sell to like the year eight kids. <laughs> <laughs> William like, Story, if you want to sponsor us, we will. Yeah, promo because mm-hmm. we like your drink. We so. like your drink. <laughs> I, I'm a fan of your drink. Like, please yeah. sponsor me. I need it. <laughs> Mid podcast, just pop a rich energy. Yeah. Midway through to keep us going. Imagine if we actually sponsored us and we just got sent Red Bull, not Red Bull. Oh shit, not Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> rich energy to drink in our podcast. No, but We've imagine like, up, yeah. on, send me rich energy to drink in the podcast. Like we'll we'll sort it out. No, that shocked me because I'm a can hardcore you, Red Bull fan. Can you yeah. have an energy drink without caffeine in it? It's got something yeah, else. It's the. T- t- it's the, the tar the weird this has really high caffeine taurine. content yeah that's how you say it, the taurine like, that's the main because <laughs> i'm I not like a fan it. of caffeine drinks because i get like uh... red bull doesn't do that to me but... do you know what it tastes like i'm drinking sherbet yeah it does have a lot of sugar in it it's like very a dip dab like yeah. you know when you get like film thing on your teeth mm. from sugar like that's what it feels like like yeah. my teeth are going to need like a 10 hour brushing after a can of this <laughs> it does taste like that actually well, swallow it around in your mouth it tastes like red bull <laughs> swallow it around <laughs> just swallow it around your mouth and it's like a real red bull oh, i've got 
two more in the fridge to drink so oh, that'll be yeah. nice <laughs> Maybe not this evening. I don't want to be like bouncing off the walls at like two a.m. No, yeah, maybe home not the best decision. It has got a bit of a weird it. aftertaste, though. Yeah, the aftertaste. Mm. Mm. We're gonna go around. We're gonna go around the whole whole group of us, and I want you to sum up your experience with rich energy in one mm. word: surprising, weird, how bowly, <laughs> surprising, edible. Drinkable, <laughs> edible. edible, edible, same thing. You know, would we'll drink this to get through like a six hour day of revising. It's pleasant, it's pleasant, it's yeah. just pleasant like... on the palate. Yeah, mm. oh, that's our title. I would agree. Is rich energy pleasant on the palate? <laughs> so, you know, William, if you are watching, you know, we do actually, you, your drink is very good. Yeah, you know, I'm wrong with it. Sponsor us, please. I think Sex you just need to find need some. Some legitimate like funding for it that seems to be the problem well, that you've mm-hmm. encountered William so if I'm not us, in any way saying that any yeah. of us have that yeah, we, but well, we can't help you know. the we, <laughs> we have a dollar on TikTok that we can we can help you with <laughs> yeah, you know, we have we a can, dollar that's we all we got <laughs> the fund we'll do a whip around but um if you would like to sponsor us this is my plea we we will drink we don't for, ask for much we, can we will just, just, pay just free rich energy. rich energy. Just send, send us, us free drink. We'll drink we'll it every podcast and we will never say a bad thing about you. Just drink your drink. Unless unless you do another stupid thing. Unless you do us dirty. Yeah, unless you do us dirty. <laughs> Anyone else dirty will support you. It's fine. Yeah. I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts on whether he's actually coming back and well, I hope who he does. it would be. Oh, well. Mm. It would be a, a team that needs the money. Mm. Alfa Romeo. Mm. But I feel like Alfa Romeo, their ties with Haas, not ties with Haas, their ties with Ferrari yeah. are what keep them afloat. I feel oh. like the only team in contention is maybe Williams, but I don't know what's yeah. happened since they passed from like mm-hmm. the Williams family to the new ownership. Well, so yeah, maybe they don't need the money anymore. But Rich Energy were meant to sponsor Williams, weren't they? Yeah, I think, I think that's it's... what we all thought. He said they were going for a team that wants to lead the sport, and the rumours that I've read are that Alfa Romeo wants to lead the sport. Mm. So if he bought them out with, I don't know what money. What money? I'm, I'm not actually sure where you're getting it from because it's not Asda or Sandra Pass, you know, selling it. You know, if he needs to have one dollar to buy them out, have it. But yeah, as long I'd, as I'd we get like a sector one there. sticker on the car. Yeah, that's a deal. You know, we'll give you a dollar if we get a sex one. <laughs> if you don't already follow us on all our social media, you guys need to make sure you do that at Sect One Podcast on everything. We have content on YouTube coming hopefully every week. TikTok content all the time. Instagram, Ab- Ab- Abby smashes that. We always have content yes. out over there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we have a blog article at least one a week. And so we're really trying to push the content. So make sure you follow us on that so you never miss any content. We should round it off with a rating, each giving a a rich energy rating. I'll kick it off with, I'm going to say seven and a half. It just yeah. kind of does it for me, but it's nothing, <laughs> it's nothing kind of exciting. Yeah, I think I'm going to say an eight and a half, just because I was really expecting it to be shocking. Mm-hmm. The expectations were low. Yeah, and they've, they've <laughs> pleasantly you know, surprised. It's a bit, I don't know, the feeling makes you feel a bit bloated. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anyone else has got the feeling. Um, <laughs> you know, Red Bull doesn't usually do this to me, but I don't know if it's because of the amount of sugar in it that I'm on a sugar rush. Yeah. Probably. You know, we should have chose that sound for the TikTok, the amount of sugar in this. <laughs> I'm going to go with an eight down the middle. I feel mm-hmm. like they really pulled it out of the bag. I normally don't like fizzy drinks. It's mm-hmm. not my thing. I don't drink Red Bull. Can't even drink lemonade. But I actually really like this, and I don't feel that it's that fizzy or that sweet maybe i'm just have a really big sweet tooth and i'm like drink it all maybe it's just loads of cow the sugar cancels out the fizz <laughs> mm, yeah it's not as intense yeah. i'm gonna go eat as well because mm-hmm. i'm like yeah i'm really picky and i really wasn't expecting to like it i'm like maris I, i've never like tried a red bull or anything but again it's like you have to order it off amazon yeah. So it's not like it's not accessible so. to get a hold of. Yeah. That's the main problem. I'm going to go 7 out of 10 just because I'm such a Red Bull fan and it doesn't quite live up to Red Bull, but then it pleasantly surprised me from what I was thinking it was going to taste like. But then again, 
if you want to try it if you order it from amazon you can't like go in a shop to get like red bull or your mm. standard energy drink see a seven out of ten i'm also going to go with a seven out of ten like the, the first taste very nice on the palate very nice on the palate but then the aftertaste yeah not so nice on the palate like it's okay and it does feel like i'm drinking sherbet and i feel like this is like you're you're gonna be on a sugar high from there. Yeah, you're gonna bounce off the walls. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm like my hands are going. I'm thinking I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls for the next. <laughs> Red Bull doesn't days. do this to me though. Like Red Bull doesn't make me. Yeah. Red Bull gives you wings. Do you know what? I actually I had a red. Do you know Red Bull? This is like a really weird fact, but I used to I had a Red Bull once on a plane and I fell asleep right after. Like it sent me to sleep. Like that isn't what a Red Bull's meant to do. And it just sent me to sleep, and I thought, hmm. Caffeine. You already had the wings on the plane, so it was yeah, cancelled. you did. You didn't didn't that yeah, out. it was like, oh, yeah. I can't work. I'll put it to sleep. They were like, oh, <laughs> she's already got the wings, so I guess we're not <laughs> eating. <laughs> <it."> so, <laughs> I genuinely <laughs> think like this would be more. People would have this more if you could literally just get it in you the shop, buy it. and it would yeah, be it would sell. more pop, so much more popular. Because even if we like it, I don't think we go to the effort of going on Amazon, ordering it, paying extra it's money for no, postage and whatever. It's not cheap it's just on not Amazon. Worth it. Thank you for watching this video. Um, make sure to follow us on all our social media. All our tags are at Sector One Podcast. Uh, we have an exciting array of content due out in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you keep um, looking at our socials. And thank you for watching.